Welcome to Never Dull Moment. I am Greg Blythe, and today we have an exciting American knife maker who's heavily influenced by Japan. So Tim Roland, Roland Cutlery, we got an opportunity to meet him at the Blade Show. This man was in the kitchen 21 years, heavily influenced by Japanese knives. Once he got a Takeda loan to him, he was like, what is going on? And ever since then, he has been made an effort to chase the dream of really sharp knives, Japanese style. So full-time knife maker out of Georgia. And uh, he has sent us something special. We're excited to add it to the collection. Uh, nice. Oh, I like anything Japanese, so we'll throw that in there. Your cherry blossoms. Nice gun of cloth. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's go ahead and yeah. this got a little wrinkled in travel, so we're sorry about that. But the the actual Look. information. Moo. Yeah, moo. But the information on this knife is going to be on the edge protector. And it's also here. So we got a new steel. Excited to bring it to you. This is the Chef Cut. This is a 64 hardness. So let's talk about Chef Cut real quick. Those of you in America have heard of Spicy White, the 26C3 steel that is comparable to the Japanese Hitachi White steel. This has the niobium addition added to it, which the British believe is... Uh, they believe it's, you know, this extra ingredient that makes white steel even better. My dog is saying hello and protecting us from intruders. So the niobium addition is for resistance. Okay, more like, uh, I, I think it's for edge retention, actually, for wear resistance. And so, again, British are getting involved and they got all kinds of new. They got Apex Ultra. I mean, they got new kinds of steel coming out. So this is going to be a great addition to see what's going on. So if you had a chance to check out Frankie's show, he had won a petty knife and he had a little clip of Tim on there. I'll definitely put a link above. And if you saw us at the Blade Show, which I'll also put a link above, we got an, action, an opportunity to meet the man at the Blade Show. This guy's constantly working and recently on Instagram, again, in the description, put a link. I had Brent Nolan, a knife maker, in the house, and I actually asked Brent what he thought. Brent's been working with Spicy White, so he was anxious to see this. We have not used it in performance. We've taken a peek, as we are going to do with you right now. This particular knife is 240 millimeter K-tip. That is a forced patina. Absolutely love it. I love the industrial, pseudo-gothic, evenly forced patina. Um, this Tasmanian Blackwood, and I hope I can pronounce this lychee. I'll go ahead and put that there for you mm -hmm. guys to tell me if I lychee. butchered it. Lychee and Tasmanian lychee. Blackwood. Lychee. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It, the handle's like, wait. the cow. I'm like, but they always have the cow. There, there he you is. Go. Yep, and you'll notice that Frankie pointed out in his video that the logo, when they show you the butchering of the cow, there's a knife in the bottom, kind of like where the... Uh, the fillet would be with well, the fillet is actually underneath the rib but yeah. yeah you mm -hmm. see the knife shape in there i didn't pick up on that before but yeah and i'm going to be cooking some food tonight so i'm anxious to use this the k-tip i always love it just gets into those finer details uh, actually the knife is really lightweight for the size it is actually and um, it's just yeah i don't know it looks like a Hate to say an old-fashioned old knife, but yet it's not. Like, the, just again, because it ja looks so you know, Jap American knife maker, heavily influenced by Japan. This thing is going to get used tonight. We are going to be making braised oxtail and short ribs. This is going to be cooked for many, many, many hours. So you know, I got the mirepoix going. I've got like um, lots of vegetables to cook down. Um, I don't really get to eat off the menu except on the weekend, so I'm going to cook this earlier in the week and let it sit. It's going to be nice and come together. So I'm looking forward to this, um, but as per usual, out of the box. Uh, let's see what this bad boy is doing. It's been handled the other day, so hopefully we didn't do anything to it. It's just stealthy. What I personally, I want to point this out to my wife, what I'm always impressed with by these knife makers is, man, you know, I sharpen knives and stuff. I do not get the bevel on these knives as thin. I mean, it's barely 
an edge that is sharpened. You know, I'd love to hear from them to know mm -hmm. what angles they're getting this out that it's literally barely the edge. Because I just come in a little flatter for like something a little sharper. So we're going to yeah, see you're how sharp like it is. looking like millimeter type scenario. Yeah, here. I mean, this yeah. is like. Ooh, sorry for the fuzzy. All right. Okay. So uh, let's get a little, let's shed a little light on the situation. What's the matter, buddy? All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at one part of the blade and see what we got. That's an extremely sharp knife. Okay, yeah. And one of the things I want to point out is you see me resting the blade on there. I mean, it's literally sitting. There's nothing pushing the knife but gravity. So at some point, you have to kind of give it a little help. Um, Josie said, yeah. Your vegetables should be scared. My, my fur, fur daughter is in agreement. So we're going to check a different point of the blade towards the heel. Again, I'm going to sit the knife down, and it just fell through. <laughs> it just fell through. I mean, it literally went there. This is a sharp knife. Yes. So this is really a sharp knife. Excited to bring that to you. Um, okay, am I... Uh, there we go. Turn that off. Let's go ahead and, you know, hear the silence the of the stuff. paper just yeah. because he likes to. <laughs> it sounds pretty for looking so. I mean, it really is. You know, intense. Tim, great job. Again, what angle is that? Let's go ahead and give you guys that peak right there. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to, yeah. I'm just excited to use the dang thing now. Okay, well. I'm going to get confetti on your cutting board. Yeah, 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 because I'm going to put food here. So, um. Okay, I'm catching. Is it fair? Let's try this on. Not a different paper towel. Yeah, paper, new paper towel. We're gonna get a new paper towel. It's hard to believe it'd be that sharp. Well, you know, sometimes that was it—the smooth edge or the toothy edge. That's kind of mm, the question. That's true. We might have a spot. We might have well. We might have a spot down the. Yeah, I think we just have a spot down the blade. It could be that the blade itself is so ultra refined that the toothier edge maybe does better on the paper towel. But it's definitely going to get some work here in a minute. And we're not seeing... Could be a little bit towards the top. And it could be something as simple as um, putting it on a straw. But we're not real worried about it either. We're not real worried about that. Not for the use that we're getting rid of it. There okay. you go. There. Confetti man. All right, so a little bit of food porn today. Uh, let's make sure that we're not going to get any paper or anything. Wife's going to clean the edge. I appreciate that. Because this food this is, is the going to be... the reason that I'm here. The food is going to be consumed. He would probably eat it anyway, folks. Let me be honest. That's how I survived COVID. I, I wouldn't, but he would.
All right, it's a big knife, K-tip. Let's see it in action. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's check out the rock on it. It's so quiet. Um, yeah. Nice. Remember, you have fingers. Keep them. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to put this back here. Yeah. Get it out of the uh, camera. So silent. It actually is. I have to you know? Say. Yes, folks, he's done this a time or two. Please keep your fingers, you're going too fast. Am I going too fast though, really? Yeah. He says he's being efficient. Efficient. Kind of late where we are. We always try to film a little bit later in the evening so there's no uh, sunlight coming in the window. It's beautiful having a long knife. Okay, so we got some garbage. Let's pop those out. And if you guys haven't had oxtail, it is something that has to cook for a very long time. Short ribs, at least four hours. Oxtail, minimum six. Um, there's a place in Maryland that uh, I'll put a link in the description just to hype them up. They do a braised oxtail mozzarella cheese stick. <laughs> what? It is a fried mozzarella oxtail cheese stick. I mean, it, I heard you. I just said, what? Yeah. They were? And just seeing it made me go, I want oxtail. Okay. Can it handle? Why? Because that's what people do. No, no, actually, most people don't do this, sir. They don't? <laughs> They don't. Comment, folks. Who cuts their damn peppers like this? Greg. But can it handle it? Look at the size of the knife. I, nobody said that. I'm just saying. Most of us value are just, we're not, I don't know. We're just not that fast. Just, just gosh. Gorgeous. Tim Rowland, the chef, is going, look at my knife perform. What? And look, the forced patina has got a forced patina. <laughs> oh, no, we do not use... Oh, that pisses me off. Sorry. I like knives for food, not for utilitarian. There's other knives for that kind of stuff. Yeah? Yeah, like swag knives. But we have like a big knife, baby. Look, it's Thanksgiving. No. That's a little chunky for Thanksgiving there, dear. I think I'm going to be using this knife for Thanksgiving, though. Okay. I'll just cut them down a little bit. Wow. I literally couldn't tell you how big that package was because he cut it. <laughs> I was trying to find out. Um, okay, that's two and a half pounds of celery. Lord help us. Decimated. Out. 
Yeah, and yeah. Does the body good? Okay, not in chunks that big. Damn. Sorry. All right, here comes We're the just, onion test. I'll, I'll cry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna back up. Ah, no, 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 no. What do you mean, no? You it's have... a knife. I'm sorry. You have a utility knife for that shit. Sorry, folks. It's, it's late and I'm getting testy. Ugh. Just. A good knife is a good knife. And just so you guys know, I'm going to cut it viced for you, but I normally cut it the other way for like caramelized onions because I really want to cook it down. So I'm going to cut it both ways just to show the performance. But the rest of the onions are all going to be like caramelized onion style. So let's go ahead and give you the, uh, the dice. So What's nice about a really sharp knife is you saw that none of that budged. If I have a chance to get all this cooked and put a picture of the finished dish in there, then I'll do that. Can't make promises. Now the other. Oh, okay. Nice. We now have onion confetti. <laughs> yes. The knife is the nice height, nice length. Yeah, show we the height. We got with it your hand. done. Height with your yeah. hand. Yeah. Just. Oh. Yep. So, um, he has an Etsy store in which he sells mostly handles. Uh, there is only like one knife on his Etsy store. I was on it earlier. Let's go ahead and get rid of this whole outer one. We don't have time for that. Mm -mm. The tears I'm shedding is the sheer joy. <laughs> that I have of using this knife. Couldn't possibly be the onion. Um, you will also see that he is uh, on Old Town Cutlery. So he has plenty of knives available there. Um, he is literally a full-time knife maker. So... Uh, Careful, you're getting real close to that. Okay. Clear the eyes so I don't lose a finger. Just going ultra thin right now. Okay. There you go. The knife has performed. The food will be on. Amazing addition. We'll see if the knife ever uh, gets used by that. It is uh, it is the new version of spicy white, the upgraded version of what you would call the white steel from Hitachi. It is going to oxidize. They have pre-oxidized it for you, so I'll probably not see a change in the discoloration of the <laughs> patina, which is kind of nice as well. Um, thank you, Tim, for the nice addition. I very much am enjoying using the knife. I think the joy is the, definitely here. The, aw, tears of sad happiness. You know, I'm a Japanese knife fan, so it's nice that the American knife maker uh, really paid homage. Really great job paying homage to Japanese knives. The balance is great. Super lightweight. The functionality is amazing. The bevel is uniquely thin and even extremely sharp. We love it. That was definitely not a dull moment. We look forward to seeing you 
we are making note that we will not always have fr every single Friday night. Holidays are coming. Spend time with your family. We wish you the best holidays. And as we can return to a full-time schedule, we will. But hopefully, we'll continue seeing Friday nights at 8 o'clock. Thank you for your support. Links to everything you see will be in the description. God bless.